Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm one of the product specialists here at skis.com. Today, I'm gonna to discuss with you the importance of having your Alpine ski bindings mounted, adjusted, and tested by a certified binding technician. Alpine ski bindings are one of the most important pieces of equipment to help guard you against injury on the slopes. Bindings and boots must go through a series of visual inspections each time something changes with the setup. The change could be the height, the weight, the age or the aggressiveness of the skier. It is strongly recommended to have a readjustment and a new binding test done every time a skier gains or loses 15 pounds, increases or decreases their aggressiveness, changes their boot model, changes their boot size, or every other season. The boot that is going into the binding must undergo a visual inspection to verify that it is in good shape, the shell has structural integrity and it can hold into and release from the binding correctly. Older boots were made from a much softer plastic that could lose its integrity over time. As a result, older boots may not be able to hold into the toe and heel pieces of the binding when the lateral movements and pressure is applied during skiing and cause a pre-release. Pre-releases are just as dangerous as not releasing at all. Toe and heel lugs of ski boots must not be excessively worn down. Worn down toe lugs can cause uneven pressure on the sole of the boot that could cause you to roll out of your bindings. Excessively worn down heel lugs may cause the boot to eject from the binding when minimal forward pressure is applied while skiing. This is why a proper release test requires the actual boot that is going to be skied in the bindings. Without the actual boot, there is no guarantee the binding will operate correctly. This blue Lang boot is an example of a boot that is not safe to ski in. The red Technica boot passes all visual inspections. Once the pair of boots is visually inspected, the binding must go through a series of release tests. These tests measure that when the appropriate amount of torque is applied to the system, the binding releases the boot. The pressure is measured with a calibrated torque wrench that measures the amount of force it takes for the boot to be released. If the binding does not release the boot cleanly within the specific range for that skier's retention settings, the binding does not pass the release test and should not be skied on. This release test simulates twisting falls. This release test simulates forward falls. Once these tests have been completed, the technician must sign off on the binding mounting form saying that both boots and both bindings have passed a visual inspection and a physical release test. Just because these tests have been completed does not guarantee your safety on the slopes, but it is standard procedure to provide you with the safest equipment possible. We are aware that other online retailers may mount bindings for you if they are provided with a boot sole line. Please note that that equipment must still be taken to a certified technician for the proper visual inspections and release tests and that no consideration for your safety is given.